Welcome everyone. This is beginner, beginner, beginner yoga. This is for people who have not had yoga or for some reason cannot do maybe the yoga practice they used to do. They have to do basic. Basics are where it's at. Basics are where you're going to get most benefit. So if you're in the right place, make sure you like and subscribe so that you get all our videos and you know how to find us when you want to practice again. So let's come to city when you're ready. And I think it's best for beginners to sit on something like a cushion, a pillow, or a rolled up towel. If you're comfortable on the floor, that's fine too. Now, grow your spine tall, bring your hands together, and close the eyes. In yoga, it's very important the breath is natural and relaxed. Watch your breath. And make it smooth, no jerks. Good. Now it's also important that we're relaxed. So keep the breath smooth and relax the body, the sides of the neck the tops of the shoulders. You can relax your chin, your jaw. And you can relax your hips, your legs, all these places hold tension. Let it go. Good. Now slowly open the eyes and release your hands to your legs. Now we're going to do some warm-ups. Drop your chin on your chest. Roll your head to the right, back, left, front, reverse, left, back, right, front, reverse, right, back, left, front, reverse, left, back, right, and front, center the head, roll the shoulders. It's very important we move the joints. Sometimes our health issues are with our joints, sometimes they're with the muscles, sometimes they're with the nerves, sometimes they're with the internal organ. We're going to address everything and reverse, okay? So keep the breath nice. Keep the body relaxed and move. Keep moving. Okay, that's that. Now make fists. Circle. A lot of yoga poses, we put weight on our hands. So we need to strengthen the wrists. We need to strengthen the wrists anyway. That's why we put weight on our hands. Reverse. Make uh, strong bones to put weight in our hands. And it makes strong muscles. See, feeling better already. Okay, shake out your hands. Let's give it a little shake, like you're trying to dry your hands without a paper towel. And come down. Now, stretch your legs out in front. Let's do a little bit the feet. Separate the feet. You can push your hands on the floor. Circle the ankle. Make sure you're not shrugging your shoulders. And make sure you're sitting up tall. If it's not comfortable, you can lean back, but keep your back straight, okay? Your posture will get better and better as you do the yoga. Reverse. Very important. You always relax when you do yoga. Okay? No stress, no tension. Let everything go while you do your practice. Okay? All right, now point and flex a few times, just up and down. This is like pumping circulation into your body, but it also helps strengthen your feet, ankles, calves, and shins. All right. Okay, now bring the soles of the feet together. And if you can, grab your ankles or your toes. If not, you can hold here. Okay? Now the butterfly. This gets the hips ready for all the poses. 
And in yoga, there's a lot of poses for the hips. Anything you need uh, yoga for, yoga has. You need for concentration, for balance, for strength, for uh, stress relief, for the joints, like a hip, a knee, an ankle. Yoga has something for you. Flap, flap, finger, slap the floor with your thighs. Okay, close the legs, walk your toes forward until your knees can come together. You're going to hold the knees with the left hand, right hand comes behind, and we're going to twist to the right. This is called a TP twist, and this is a basic twist. There's lots of twists, but everything is based on the basic. You're trying to turn your head. You're trying to look behind you. So you're really trying to twist. That's the focus, the goal. Return, switch. Hold the legs with the right hand. The left hand comes behind. Now we're going to inhale, get tall. We're going to exhale. We're going to twist a little bit. And then keep that going. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, twist. Try to look back there behind you. Inhale. Exhale, turn. Inhale. Exhale, turn. Inhale. Exhale, turn as much as you can. And release. Now stretch your legs out. Take your hands right at your thigh. You're going to slide your hands down your legs as far as you can go. Whenever you have to stop, stop. If it's too much, bend your knees, okay? So you're going to go as much as you can. You're going to look up. You're going to try to flatten your back. So you're going to try to keep your back straight. We're not going to, like, round over, do anything like that. We're just going to try to push the lower back forward. We're going to keep reaching the chest forward, the chin. It's forward bend, so everything's going forward. Sometimes it looks like it's going down like that on an advanced person, but forward is, is always forward inside the body. You can feel like everything's pulling toward your feet. And this is a real basic, this is a real standard in the yoga. It's called Paschimottanasana, the forward bend. And return up with your nice back. Now we have one more of these sitting ones. You're going to open the legs. And again, if it feels too much, bend your knees a little bit. Okay? Take your hands at the top of your thighs and stretch down the legs. You're going to keep lifting your chin. You're going to try to have a flat back. We're going to try not to hump or lift our shoulders near our ears. We're going to pull the spine, stretch our toes, Reach our chest open. Your chest is trying to go forward, more forward than your feet. If it's too easy, open your legs more. Okay? If it's too hard, close your legs a little bit. Stretch, reach that chest. And slowly return. Bring the legs together. We're going to do one more twist. You're going to step the right foot over the left. Hold the knee with the left hand. This is like the teepee twist. Right hand goes around. But you're going to get a little more twist here. So you're going to inhale tall, exhale turn. Inhale tall, exhale turn. Inhale tall, exhale turn. Inhale tall, exhale turn. Look all the way back and slowly come out. Let's try the other leg. And step the left foot over the calf, not too high. Hold the knee with the right hand. Left hand, hand comes behind. And we go up and turn. Inhale, up the spine. Exhale, turn. This way we use all the muscles. We make good posture. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale and come out. Release. Now, everybody, lay on your back. We just have a couple more things to practice. Lay on your back and put your feet right near your fingers. Okay? 
Push your shoulders back against the floor. Tighten your stomach and your buttocks. Lift the buttocks off the floor. Now you might have seen this pose outside of yoga. Physical therapy, calisthenics, it's called the bridge. It strengthens your back and your legs and stretches your chest. Bring the hips back to the floor. Okay, let's do it again. See if you can get your arms a little closer into the body, like really tight. Pull the stomach in, push down on the feet, and lift the hips. Now let's add a breath. Inhale, exhale, one. We're going to do five breaths. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, push your feet on four. Inhale. Exhale, lift your chest on five, and slowly, slowly, slowly roll down. Good. That's called Sedu Bandhasana, the bridge-making pose. Hug your knees into the chest and squeeze them in as much as you can. This stretch you can do every day. Okay, you don't even have to get out of bed. Just hug the knees in. This is great for your back. Now, there's a half leg version of this, okay? This is the full version. The half, we hold the right leg, squeeze it in and slowly stretch that left leg down in line with your hip. Most of us will have our knee a little bit off the floor. Keep trying to stretch it and stretch it. Keep the right knee in until the whole left thigh can push down. Your, your calf, your heels pushing out, try to get your hamstring to the floor and then bring the left knee in. Hold the left knee with both hands, and now the right leg goes. This has a lot to do with your hip flexibility, if you can straighten this leg or not. If you can uh, straighten very easily, that's a good sign your hips are just flexible, <laughs> and you don't have arthritis. As soon as you get arthritis, this gets harder and harder to straighten. This is how we prevent prevent that stiffening, whether you have arthritis or not, or injury. You stay healthy, healthy hips, healthy body. Okay, hug both knees in. Place your feet on the floor, take your arms open like a cactus, and drop both knees to the left, head to the right. This is another twist. You're gonna pull the belly in, and really look over to that right elbow. Push your right knee to your left knee. And return. Take the knees to the right, the head to the left. Only go as much as comfortable. That's the thing, especially uh, beginner yoga. Don't stretch more than you can. A little bit goes a long way. These poses are uh, intense. They might look very simple, but a lot of things are going on in your body, your mind, your breath, everything and return. Now roll everything to one side, either side, and push back up to sitting where we started. You can sit on something if you need, or now that you're more warmed up, you can sit on the floor comfortably. Close the eyes, bring the hands to prayer, and let's take one deep breath to finish. Inhale, Exhale. Slowly open the eyes, and I hope you loved your practice. Keep practicing, 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 and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.